Hello, welcome to Switched On. I'm Paul, and today we're going to be having a look at a game that's coming out later this month from NOS America, and that is Lapis Labyrinth. Now, there is a Rogue X in the middle of Lapis Labyrinth, but I'm assured it is pronounced Lapis Labyrinth. Now, this is like a, an action RPG, very cutesy, um, and I've very kindly been given a review copy. Although there is certain restrictions over what I can show you today. But I thought it'd be cool just to dive in and take a look at how it plays. So this is the town that you start off in. It acts as like an overworld. And as you work through the game, various shops will open up here for you to buy stuff to take on your adventure. You have a quest guild. And what you may notice there is a Japanese voice in the, the whole game is Japanese voiced. Um, though there are subtitles where needed. So this is the first quest in the game. And once you get going, you open up a lot of quests here. All these other characters are sort of random characters in your party. You can just talk to them, but they don't really do much at the moment. And here you have Liftcat, who's got one of the best voices in any game I've ever heard. Just couldn't give two Fs. Right. So here we are in the game. So the main role of the game is to collect treasure for this town who have sort of, um, well once a, a bustling town for adventurers, adventurers, sorry, but um, have kind of lost their way and nobody goes there anymore. So they're trying to get back um, heroes, send out invitations to heroes to get people back visiting their town. So the idea of the game is to collect these purple gems and that will unlock uh, the gate to exit the level. Now if you look at the bottom right hand corner, there's a bar there and every time I collect one of these gems, that bar goes up. Fill the bar up to the blue crown and you can exit the level. And the red crown is for sort of extra bonuses and stuff. Top right hand corner is a timer ticking down. That's why I'm talking quite fast because you only get five minutes to complete each floor. And you're basically just looking, traveling around, looking for these purple gems to exit the level. And then you'll get, or you'll come across these evil minions of the town. You have a wide range of attacks, as typical with these um, NIS America games, it's sort of Penny Punching Princess and um, Silver and Dealer Princess game that came out. They all have a very similar aesthetic, a lot of the nice games, so Disgaea as well shares a lot of similarities with this. Princess Guide was the other game. Um, so yeah, you just kill these heroes and you just see it just spews treasure and gems and you've got like a combo counter at the top of the screen. And every time you collect treasure without being hit, that goes up. Gives you like a, a nice multiplier. Every now and again you'll get these encounters where you kind of get locked into the screen and you have to clear all the baddies on the screen to open up the, the gate to progress. And although it's kind of hard to make out, I'll probably show you in more detail in a minute, but you have actually got four characters here. Well actually there's only two at the moment, but you do eventually get four characters and they all sit on top of each other's heads. Um, I forgot to equip the other two, <laughs> which is going to make this a lot harder than it needs to be. But it seems to be doing okay so far. So I'm just using the standard attack at the moment. Ah, oh, here we go. Fever. So if you build up a fever meter in the top right hand corner, by killing enough enemies you get into this fever mode. In fever mode you're invincible, which is really handy. And you can just see the world will just spew gems at you. There was a NIS um, showcase a few months back where they spoke about this game in depth with the producer and developer. And uh, they actually said one of the reasons they wanted to make a game like this is just people love loot <laughs> and gems and that kind of thing. So they wanted to make a game where literally the screen was just full of you know shiny gems and loot. And then I'm a sucker for that sort of stuff personally, so it's really, really appeals to me. Just clear these last enemies out and we can clear that gate. If you see here to the right hand side, we've got like a gate we can't get past. But as soon as we clear these enemies, 
We'll get rid of them. I'm using a variety of attacks here. We've got sort of special attacks and powered up attacks. All becomes clear in the tutorials. So you see that gate is now clear. Now these are different sorts of gates that will walk you around the level. But what we want to do first is try and get up to there if we can. It's difficult. With more characters you can uh, jump higher. Because you sort of jump on top of each other's heads. So at the moment I've only got two characters. See the, the girl at the bottom. And the, the guy with the hat and goggles at the top. And there's a treasure chest on top of my head. You can actually swap which character you're controlling with the le uh, left bumper button. So I'm now controlling the gunner. And he's got a different set of moves. Still keeping an eye on that clock. Because it, once the clock counts down past five minutes. You actually get like this invincible demon appear. And he just chases you around the level and if he touches you you are dead instantly so he really is dot to death and I imagine by the way this is going we're going to be seeing him pretty soon because I don't think I'm going to clear this level it's a lot harder if I've if you've only got two characters when I first started playing this game uh, over the weekend um, I sort of missed the part where you could add extra party members to your stack and I played with these two characters for pretty much the the first quarter of the game and was it really tough going since I got a full party together and I've sort of blitzed through the levels the early levels anyway certainly ramps up in difficulty so you see here just like the actual gem carnage. Now when you're in fever mode you're actually building up a, a different meter which you can look at in the menu but basically you get extra bonuses so the more you kill whilst in fever mode or the more gems you collect in fever mode the better you'll do. Right that last purple gem now was the last one we need and they're just turning this out that the time's up and the demon's going to be coming. There's the demon now he will just move around the level try and trap you but We'll definitely try and kill you. So you may be able to make it out on this. Oh, I'm dead. Oh well, that ended in spectacular failure. Still get to get ranked on the level. You just don't get as good a rank as you possibly could, and you don't get to move on. But still collect the XP. So what I'm gonna do? We're gonna try it again. We're gonna add to our party. We're gonna add. The remaining members to the stack you can see on the left hand side there as um as i add them the heads get stacked on top and this is telling you about the equipment page now this is a really um nice feature in the game basically you can assign new weapons armor artifacts and other items to a character but they all come at a cost and you can see in the left hand corner of that box there you've got a cost uh, maximum of 20 um, units so it's really good you have to kind of mix and match mix and match your weapons to come with inside that um, sort of total maximum that you're allowed that's all the we all the gear that we've got at the moment but you can collect gear as you go through the game and also there are shops in the town so let's quickly go back and Take that mission on again. Didn't need that fella. This is the guild board. I'm gonna try that again. So we should absolutely blitz this level now with four characters. You'll see the difference. Where before I struggled to sort of take the enemies down. Should absolutely make mince meat of them this time. So this game actually has two different release dates um, in America and Europe. Pretty close to each other. I believe I will put in the description down below for definite, but I believe the American release date is the 27th of May and the European release date is the 31st. But just check down in the description below. 
Again, it's just a shame I can't tell you any more about how I feel about the game so far. I'm sort of way, way into the game, sort of well over halfway into it. Like the typical sort of games you get from NIS America, you know these crazy sort of Japanese anime type type games. Then you probably know what's in store. Just swapping around characters here. This this character here reminds me of Shovel Knight. He's like a he's actually a knight, but I don't know for some reason I just get Shovel Knight vibes from him whenever I take control of him. Right. You see here we can jump much higher than we did before, much easier. So if we go through that warp hole there. Takes you to another part of the level. And you see now, it's what I was trying to say before, the arrow, if you notice that yellow flashing arrow, that means that we've collected enough of the purple gems now, and that's sort of guiding you to the exit of the level. And you have got a team base move as well. It's like a big special move to send out the other heads. Maybe I fever mode, so just gems everywhere. Whoa, so many gems. You can see how quickly I'm getting through these now. We've we've you know still got the basic weapons, you do get a lot better weapons that are much more powerful and you know once you really dig into the game. You have spells and all sorts of things. This is still the very first level, just to give you a bit of an idea what it looks like, really, and how it plays. Now, I have still got time. I've got 2 minutes and 20 seconds, so I have still got time before that big, nasty minion comes to get me. So I can keep collecting those purple gems, these hidden areas, all high treasures. And that white gate there that we just saw, that is actually the exit for the level. So you sort of step onto that and push up. But there may well be, there's another purple gem up there. If you can um, oh, fill that bar up. And always find the treasure chest is good. Now there is all sorts of drops, there's sort of the common rare, ultra rare, to get different gear. Oh, looks like there's one more purple gem. It'd be nice to find it before uh, before finishing the video. Aha! Hopefully that was the last one. Can't see the bar now because we've gone into fever mode. So we make our way back to their exit gate. Love the music in this game as well. Crazy. Here we go. So we've got a full bar, and that's the floor cleared. With time to spare. So there you go. You can see, we've got 48 common treasures. No rare, no super rare, no ultimate rare or ultra rare. Um, but some other stats there. Now you can buy snacks, and these will give you buffs between levels. But we've got no, none of those yet. And that's it, move on to the next floor of the level to pretty much do the same over again. 
Each level consists of uh, a few floors. This is actually a boss by the looks of it. Let's see if we can take care of business. See if we can do a big super move. There we go, all four of them in this move. Not sure how much that hit the boss, but certainly cleared out the minions. And there we go. And there we go, quest clear. So, you get a little reward. And you get your results. So two floors in that quest. We've got up to danger level four. Not quite sure what all these things mean, but <laughs> uh, I'm only in A rank. So this obviously goes uh, Japanese ranking. So it starts at S. So it's actually an SS as the top rank. And all the way down to well, D and E, I would imagine. And there we go. So between levels, you can pick these seal treasures and you collect keys during the game. You won't be able to see it because you just when you're collecting those treasure chests in a in a sort of floor, there's just so much going on. You're just collecting so much different stuff. But in there, hopefully, you're collecting keys. And in between levels here, you can spend those keys. You can see at the top there, we've got four keys. And you can spend them here to open different chests. Obviously, the more keys something costs, the better it should be. So we went for the scythe. And we'll go for we'll go for another scythe. And you can see there we've got one star, which isn't particularly great, but probably better than we're currently rocking. And there we go, so we carry on with the story. So hope that gives you a nice overview of Lapis Labyrinth. As I say, so at the end of May. So I'm still gonna keep playing it. Got plenty of time to get a really you know, decent amount of gameplay and you know complete the game get it under my belt give you a fair opinion on it during that last week of may so stay tuned for that hope you liked the video if you did drop me a like below and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed really appreciate that but until next time i will catch you later cheers guys bye bye